and are quote unquote created for your benefit is the main weapon that they have to do what they do to you and still claim it's lawful, right? Now, once you tackle that, all that they'll ultimately have left is brute force and fear. And once we reveal more about them so people realise that they're just dealing with pirates, then then eventually they'll have nothing left. And, and I'm sure you realise that in, in the history of society, when people finally realise that they're just dealing with nothing but uh, criminals and pirates, that their reign of power comes to an end within weeks. But yes, you can. I, I urge you to read. And as I said to the previous caller, when you read and have a look uh, and have a look at the sites, if it still does not make sense after you've read, by all means, contact us because obviously we're here to help everyone who's facing issues. Okay? Okay. Um, one quick question because I'm going before an administrative judge, so would that make a difference with the proceedings? Well, the whole administration whether they call themselves an appeal judge, an administrative judge, a magistrate, they're just different levels of the bank. So ultimately, at the end of the day, they're all using trust law and their fiduciary duties and the rules of the bank to rule against you. But it's all about property. It's all about trusts. Okay? Thank you. Good on you and good luck. Thank you, Darlene. Okay. Um, Question from the chat, uh, Frank. Let's see, where does that one go? I wanted to, okay. Can you speak to the nature of a special deposit of the BOE? Yes. Um, The difference between special deposit and deposit, and again, this is just one of the many, many tricks of their system. When you have your wage deposited into an account, the word deposit means effectively... Um, to convey, to grant. So deposit is the same as granting or gifting. That means you're actually giving that to the bank. If the bank so chose, it could say, thank you very much, see you later. And you'd say, hold on a second, I deposited my, my, my wage. Where's my wage? The bank would say, you gave it to us. You deposited it, you signed it, it's a gift. That's exactly what they're doing. Now, when we go to our account and we seek to withdraw, then we are seeking a benefit. And the bank can decline the benefit. It can say, well, I can't give you your wage for 10 days. Or, I'm sorry, we have a technical problem. Or, the bank is closed. So that's what a deposit is. Now, special deposit sounds like a deposit, and that's why they use special deposit, but it's totally different. Under special deposit, and again, realise they can change their rules any day they like. So me saying this today, it may not be the same in six months' time. But up until now, special deposit has meant that you have a bank account which is registered by a higher authority. In this case, it's registered by the uh, IMF and ultimately back to the to Bank for International Settlement, where it is a uh, trust account where the bank is administering the um, property and no one has the right to take that property. So think about what the IRS does. What does the IRS do? Well, the IRS jumps in there, washes its documents through uh, a clerk's office. It's all done automatically. And, uh, and then puts a, a lien on your bank account, starts deducting from your bank account. Well, if that was a special deposit account, relating to your trust, because you have the trust, you're just not using them, and it was a special deposit, the IRS couldn't touch you, could not touch you by their rules. And that's what a special deposit account is. Okay? Very good, Frank. Thank you. All right, uh, Northern Virginia, uh, again, you're in the queue. Do you have a question? Northern Virginia? Hello, Northern Virginia, did you have a question? All right, just as a reminder to folks, if you do star 8, Idaho, uh, I'm not sure if you had a question, but if you'll star 8 uh, to put yourself in the queue if you have a question, 
and you can uh, be unmuted. Uh, Northern Virginia, are, the, are you there? Do you have a question? All right, not hearing from Northern Virginia. I'll move on to the next. Uh, let's see, we have uh, Boardman 1. Hang on. See if I can get him unmuted. Hello? Okay, Boardman 1. Hello? Anyone else? Yes, Boardman. Hi. Yes. Hey, how you doing, Frank? Good. All right. Um, a good friend of mine named Mark, you know, turned me on to you. Um, but I got a another uh, brother up north that's been incarcerated for, uh, I don't know, you know, Tim Turner's and his mess. Um, but anyway, he yep. used, he, he thought he was using general uh, delivery. And I guess I actually been using, I guess, or I hope I ain't got it backwards, but general post. And they're trying to say he's crazy. They've been shipping around to psychiatric rewards and got him in jail. He's been in jail now for over a year. And yep. I wanted to get him out because uh, he's, yep. you know, going away from nothing. And I told him about the Ecclesiastes Depot, and I think he's done it, but I don't think anything has materialized out of it yet. And I don't know if there's something, step or something might have been missed or, or what. I don't know. Um, and <laughs> Can I just ask, have you done the deep poll or have they done the deep poll for him? Well, they, they've done it for him and he put a fingerprint on it, but I haven't you know, heard it has anything where if they wanted to do the executive letter, and I don't know if that works because he's tried both of them, and I understand he's still yeah. possibly. The, the, okay. I mean, it, it's good It's good if it started um, on that. Um, look, uh, these people... The system itself is the, is the cruelty, and and the people that are running it justify their 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 way. Just a quick aside, just to give you an understanding, when they recruited, when the Nazis recruited the people for Auschwitz and those other death camps, um, they didn't. You, you might think that they would they would hire people who were sociopathic. They didn't. They hired people who were Christian. They hired people who and often were Catholic who were higher educated and were people like uh, engineers um, and so on. And they hired them with higher intelligence because uh, it, was, it was getting them into a belief system that they needed in order to convert what they were seeing. So it was all very much about could they change their mindset. But just moving back to your original um, issue, uh, if you have put in a deed poll, and you've followed the instruction that's there, the next steps will be the dishonouring components that we've seen. Uh, the only problem I see in trying to help someone do the, the process on their behalf while they are presently incarcerated is that they have already created a scenario where he is effectively their quote-unquote dead property that they are experimenting with doing what they're doing. It, it, it is a much stronger scenario to approach it from the angle that I said, which is the classic slave owner slave mindset. Remember, the whole system is just hidden slavery, and and have a kin, a blood relative, issue the deed poll, and then follow through on that deed poll in demanding their property be released to their care. Like you've got my stereo. I own that stereo, give me my stereo back. Now, again, I know this is hard for people to understand, but this is actually the, the base, original purpose of habeas corpus. Yeah? Now, when they say they suspended habeas corpus, they really suspended the procedure. No one can actually suspend habeas corpus in the principle in their system of property rights. What they've done is they've suspended, if you like, a privilege of using habeas corpus in a fairly open interpretation. But once you establish you are a property owner, the system is there to support you. And kin have the right, once they've established their property right, to demand their property, once they've identified it as their property, back to them. You have a higher right than the state does over the property. Does that make sense? Yes, I, I, it definitely does. Um, 
I'm, I'm just trying to find a, a way of helping him out because they've, they've moved him from, I guess, uh, I call him prison camp to prison camp. Um, it and it, I, it and doesn't I matter. I mean, it does matter for his, for his obviously, here for his well-being, but that doesn't matter. He, they, they, will, they will bring people around the state and, and, and play those games, but at the end of the day, you know which state he is in, yeah? Yeah. Um, you, you, you know who to address this to, and it's all about you establishing your rights. Now, I'm trying to give you the example to understand in, in legal terms what it means. It means that you're effectively saying, I'm a property holder, and in the old days, it would be the same saying, I own a plantation, where's my slave? Or in a, in a less oh. controversial way, uh, you've got my stereo. But once you realise that, that at the moment that piece of property, even though it's a living being, it's a, it's a, it's a living spirit, it's, it's a relative, um, at the moment the system is merely viewing it as a piece of property which is sitting on trucks just travelling around doing whatever they want to do. So the strongest position is for you to establish your standing. Now when they reject that, then you'll be following the process I said, which is every single one of the judges, the administrators and the uh, executors that have dishonoured that will ultimately lose their job. And it may take it to the 100-day limit, but you will, you will see um, that it succeeds. Why? Because at the end of the day... Um, they are t going to be totally and utterly smashing their system in, in a documented, forensic, proven way. And uh, I, I assure you, the stakes at that point at 100 days are so high, there's no governor in, in America that is going to, or certainly no one at uh, Washington level, is going to allow it to, to blow out. So <clears throat> you've just got to follow through. All righty? All right. Thank, thank you, Frank. I've got several folks of questions, so um, if you'll just, uh, I'm going to bear with us. And if I mute you, it's because we have other folks in the queue. If you have another question, you could put yourself back in the queue by pressing star 8. So we have why not on the line. Are you there? Do you have questions? I am. Great. Hi, I am. Um, when you were talking to that last gentleman, you were talking about a blood relative. What about helping someone that you are married to? Is this the same thing? Absolutely. It's all about having a higher property right. Okay. Can I ask one other question? Is, sure. Is SESTA KV Trust known as something else in their world? Uh, yes, it would be called a hidden trust or a hidden constructive trust. Um, uh, the first people I lied to are the lawyers. So they don't have an understanding. Sorry, the band's starting up again, the, the, the wedding. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so they, they hide it. But the, um, the Attorney General's Department and there are enough people in the system that know exactly what it is so that uh, there is no excuse if they say, we don't know what you're talking about. When they say, we don't know what you're talking about, you basically have someone lined up and they are lying to save their bacon. Okay? Thank you. Great. Thank you. All right. Next question. We have Idaho. Idaho, are you there? Can you hear us? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, Frank, I, I'm assuming that in your process and with the, the needful, if you have a civil case rather than a criminal case where the government has come against you, you can use uh, the needful and just substitute the prosecutor for the uh, plaintiff attorney? Um, I would, uh, for civil matters, in their system, I mean, civil and criminal, as you, I'm sure you probably know, is, is just on the same side of the ledger. It's just what they call criminal or civil. Um, the, the deed poll should always be addressed merely to the executives and the administrators. Uh, so that you can evoke the notice to agents as a notice of principle. Once you name, remember, once you name, then you're into the name game. So the name game works both ways. Uh, you've probably heard that, that um, systems will have straw people in them. You know, you'll yeah. have the IMF and you'll have some complaints agent and they'll be called, um, you know, A-Big. 
And of course, there is no AB.